everybody welcome back to our channel so with today's video you guys I'm gonna be starting a mini series on how I simplified and organized my possessions and uh, the systems that actually work for me in the long run because let's be honest with all this craziness that's going on all over uh, Netflix and YouTube and all these medals everybody showing us how realistic are they for our lifestyles I mean especially for me as a mom I can picture doing that if I was like single okay. or just living with my husband but with five kids mm. I mean how many of you moms really get their kids to perfectly fold their clothes every time you do laundry hmm? did you perfectly comb my folded your clothes yesterday did you did you know Ariana hmm? Hmm? yeah I thought so so one of my main goals for 2018 was to become more intentional about everything that was coming get into our household I failed a few times, I did a lot of trials and I finally found a system, few systems that work for me. And that's what I want to show you guys because okay. uh, a way to achieve your goal is taking many steps, right? You can't just do it all. You can't just start declaring your house all of a sudden and your house is going to stay there for the rest of the year, for the rest of your life. It won't happen. Uh, you need to uh, implement habits. And that's the, the main, main, main step, okay? So whatever you do and you see that it's working, you wanna turn into a habit. And then even when you tackle the areas of your life, you wanna do it slowly. You don't want it to become overwhelming either at the same time. So you wanna understand what you're doing because you wanna be able to do it again and again and again. So that it's gonna start working, you're gonna start seeing the difference and you're gonna start being more appreciative even of what you already have. Overall, all this helps with your finances, with your well-being, with your anxiety, with your stress. And if you're a mom, the main reason why I wanted to do that, the clutter in my life, was because I wanted to spend more time playing with my kids. I wanted to be a homeschooling mom, and I made it happen. Me and my husband made it happen. And it was my big, big, big goal since like uh, the past couple of years. And I knew that there were things that had to be done, yeah. right, Ariana? And uh, you know what? I didn't get discouraged. I started to write down my goal and the steps that would get me closer to it every time. So I do hope that with this mini series, I can inspire you. I can motivate you to do uh, something for yourself too. I thought that a good way to start was by organizing our purse, your moms, right? because we know that we go out with this and we come back with uh, something that's like five, ten size bigger than this, right? Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, I just grabbed my coffee. It is now time to get organized. This is my purse right here. And as you can see, it's very basic, very minimal, and I prefer it this way. And uh, I like it because it has a sturdy base, so it doesn't collapse when I put it down. It also has a couple of expandable zippers, which is a nice feature. And I got this purse uh, over a year ago from H&M, I think. And I like it because it doesn't have too many pockets. You guys, if I have pockets, they become a junk pockets, and I don't want that. So let me show you how I carry my stuff inside. And this is a true and tested system, you guys, that I've been using for several years, and it still works for me. I did try one of those cabbage slash purse organizers that you just transfer you know, to the bag that you want to switch into. And it didn't work for me because I found out that my stuff was flying out of the cubby all the time. So it was all over my purse constantly. So it didn't make sense. What I like to use are these clear, these see-through pouches right here that I got in different sizes from uh, uh, Walmart. But even the dollar store Target carries them. It's just a couple of bucks. Uh, but I prefer them this way because I can see what's inside it. And nothing else that doesn't belong to these pouches goes in there. So it really keeps me motivated to keep my purse clutter free. Let me show you what I have inside. Uh, this again is just my mommy's purse. I have my leather bag and I'm gonna make a separate video for that. And um, this is just the basic. So my goal is to uh, try and cut as less as possible and just very the minimum, the necessity. Uh, let me show you what I have then. 
All right, so let's get started with the bigger pouch right here. And this is where I carry my bare makeup and a couple of emergency items. I don't carry my full on makeup bag, obviously. So just a couple of items that I need if I wanna touch up my makeup throughout the day. I have my emergency dry shampoo, my first aid kit, where we leave we need constant uh, sunscreen. So I went ahead and got this baby organics, which is good for the kids and me. There you go. And then uh, I got the only makeup item uh, that I have are this loose powder right here, just in case I get oily throughout the day. And then I have this awesome product right here that my sister-in-law got me last Christmas. And it's 100% organic coconut oil, and it's a great lip gloss. And then this is when I keep my makeup samples, and so I got this mini lipstick right here. Uh, a couple of hair ties. A snack. <laughs> I always have like an emergency snack in case I gotta bribe the kids or mommy needs him. There you go. And then I have my hand cream right here that I constantly use. So I always carry this product with me. And last I have um, this uh, stain remover and I like to have this handy just in case there's a food accident on the clothes and I want to save the t-shirts or the pants. So I need this one. And that's it you guys. This is what I carry in the bigger pouch. And now onto the electronic pouch. So this is a smaller one, as you can see. And I only carry, again, just a pair of minimum stuff. So I have my camera charger, because the camera always comes with us, and my phone charger right here, and a pen, because I carry a planner with me. I'm gonna show you in a second. So this is it. This is my electronic pouch. Nothing else goes in here. So this is my last uh, see-through pouch I have, and this is my receipt pouch. Uh, believe it or not, I don't stuff my receipt in my wallet because it ends up being just cluttered. And this makes it easier also for me if I need to run a return. I know where the receipt is. So what I do is that every month or every couple of weeks, depends on how many receipts I got in here, I go ahead and declutter it and I keep the receipts uh, that I need for taxes and the rest of them I just discard them. So there you go, this is my receipt uh, pouch. And here's my planner that I told you I carry with me because it contains my groceries list, my to-do list, and then if I just want to take notes or sketch something, um, this is a great uh, thing for me to have all the times. My water bottle, uh, what I carry, my filtered water or hot tea, depends. So this is like a loose item that I have in my purse. And of course my wallet and I like this one because it has a compartment right here where I can store my phone. So if let's say I don't want to carry my old purse, which means at the store I'm just running for a return or something. Uh, I just grab my wallet and it has everything I need. Credit cards, gift cards, my ID card. And I like it because it also has a zipper where I can carry my coins. And I prefer it this way, you guys, because if I don't carry my coins together with my paper money, I forget that I have it and I won't use it. So and plus it's slick and if it's uh nice and slim within my purse. Next thing I have is a package of uh, flushable uh, cleansing wipes. I need them all the time. My sunglasses. And I always carry a change for me, uh, just in case a little food accident or something gets spilled over mommy. This is a great thing to have all the times in my purse. So let me show you how I put everything inside my purse next. Alrighty, so let's get started you guys, here's my purse and as I told you before, I don't like it with too many pockets, so uh, this one has two open pockets and we're gonna go ahead and place my wipes on this bigger one, so the wipes go right there, then I'm gonna put my sunglasses on the other open pocket right there, there you go, and then I'm gonna put my t-shirt right on the bottom because I really need it in case of an emergency, so it goes right there, and then um, I carry my planner gonna go ahead, since it's pretty bulky <laughs> I'm gonna put it as a first item right there then I go my makeup uh, slash emergency pouch right here and then my two smaller pouches go right here on the side too and then my water bottle and my wallet you guys and this is it this is how I keep it organized and it worked for me for years now and I don't think I'm going to change it for a while. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video and it got you motivated. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!